Domnule ambasador, bună ziua și vă mulțumim că ați acceptat invitația Televiziunii Române să ne oferiți acest interviu. Bună ziua! Să ne spuneți pentru început, are Republica Moldova viitor în Uniunea Europeană? Oh, from the European Union side, definitely yes. Uh, the decision has been taken by the European Council to grant the status of candidate country to the Republic of Moldova on the 24th of June. And now it is really in the hands of uh, the people of Republic of Moldova, of the government of Republic of Moldova, uh, how to proceed with this opportunity. Because I see this as an opportunity, an enormous opportunity for development of the country. Also, the road to uh, European Union can be an uh, opportunity. But it is in the hands of the citizens of the country because this will take time. This will not be a matter of months as it has been the path uh, from the moment of requesting the membership to getting the candidate status. It is clear that it is a matter of years because some of the changes that the country needs to undergo uh, will take years. But how many years? It is in the hands of uh, the people. Because what we have seen in the past is that the course of the Republic of Moldova has unfortunately been shifting back and forth. Sometimes it has been uh, more pro-European, sometimes it has been less pro-European. And this is what matters uh, for uh, the success of this uh, opportunity. So if you will manage to m maintain this course of European integration to do all the necessary reforms, yes, then there is clearly a European future for the Republic of Moldova. Dar până acum, cum a arătat drumul Republicii Moldova spre Uniunea Europeană? Este clar că a fost cu urcușuri, cu coborâșuri. Cum îl vedeți, de exemplu, dumneavoastră? Right now, uh, it is very clearly an upwards trajectory. Uh, because, well, if you think in geometrical terms, it has been a bit of like a sinusoid that it has been moving up and down and now it is clearly uh, moving up and I think this is also the chance to break out of this sinusoid so that you maintain this trajectory of upward movement also in a longer term. Um, but right now I think that uh, the situation is very good for Republic of Moldova because you have a uh, Parliament that has been voted in uh, on agenda that is pro-reform, pro-European uh, and as a result you have uh, a government that has been working on these reforms and we already see some of the first results where these reforms have been successful, for instance uh, the cleaning up of the judiciary through the pre-vetting process, I think this is one of the clear signs of uh, the investment that has been made in uh, cleaning up the country upon the wishes of the people because I think this is also we should recognize that not only this has been something that the European Union has been talking about for years that uh, the judiciary needs to be cleaned up and that the corruption needs to be eradicated and these are also the things that are there in the uh, opinion of the European Commission but this is also because this has been the clear demand of the voters who voted in uh, this uh, parliament and the government uh, to uh, do the reforms and to do uh, the cleaning up of the judiciary and to eradicate corruption. Ca și procesul de europenizare a țării, inclusiv procesul de implementare a reformelor solicitate de Bruxelles, Republica Moldova stă bine la acest capitol, înregistrează anumite progrese? It uh, is let's say, uneven uh, performance. And uh, we can't really blame the country at this stage uh, for this being uneven, because some of these problems have been uh, growing throughout the years, and it wouldn't be realistic to expect that uh, they could be achieved overnight. And some of these things take time by default, like, for instance, uh, to clean up the judiciary, by democratic means, it is a very, very difficult process. It's been done in very few countries, so uh, this is one of the requirements that are there in the European Commission opinion, but where we also know that it is not possible that to do it um, just like that in a matter of one year, uh, because you need to do a very careful analysis of each an individual case and uh, to make sure that the independence of the judiciary is not jeopardized and that everybody's rights are being observed. So that's why uh, you need to be also careful and that's why it is important that this right balance has been struck in this process 
but it also means that it takes time. Some other things, of course, uh, you can do quicker, like, for instance, improving the uh, involvement of the civil society in the decision-making process. That one, of course, has been done in the past. There are certainly uh, things that can be uh, changed, but these things can be done rather quick. Spuneați și dumneavoastră la început că deja de două luni Republica Moldova are statutul de țară candidată la aderare și vreau să ne enumerați încă o dată care sunt beneficiile de care o să se bucure cetățenii Republicii Moldova odată cu obținerea acestui statut. First of all, this means that there is reinforced interest from the European Union because it's no secret that many citizens of Republic of Moldova are worried about the security situation, about the resilience of the country, and Moldova being a candidate country, of course, this means an additional interest from the uh, European Union also to provide the assistance that is needed on the path. And sometimes it is very pragmatic things, like very recent uh, allocation of 75 million euros uh, in budget support on top of the 60 million that were granted last year. So this is uh, that support which translated into the energy subsidy for the citizens of Republic of Moldova. But it's also more than just these material things, uh, because there are other benefits that if you, you can think of. Like, for instance, if you're an investor and you have to choose a country where you would like to invest, and there's more than 190 countries in the world, but if you want to invest in a country which has rule of law standards where you know that your investment will not be stolen, well, it is more likely that you will choose a country which has this added value of being a candidate country, which uh, then eventually may become a uh, EU member state, so you have this access to the market of 500 million people. So this may also bring additional benefits that we can't really think of in material terms. And of course, this also means uh, raising living standards, because uh, the European Union is lots of standards, uh, and uh, the Republic of Moldova will have to meet these standards in order to be fully part of the European Union. But it's, it is not standards because of the European Union. Uh, this is uh, one of the fallacies that sometimes people think that we have to do this because of the European Union. In fact, if you think about it, you have to do it because of the citizens of the Republic of Moldova. Because if, for instance, you have stronger standards in, for uh, food products, well, it's not just that it will be good for your exports, it also means that your citizens will have food that is safe and, and healthy. And this can be also applied to other areas like environment, where you, the European Union also has very strict standards. And, of course, if you implement those standards, you will be the ones who will be breathing clean air or bathing in clean water. Republica Moldova a beneficiat de mai multe programe de sprijin oferite de Uniunea Europeană, inclusiv granturi sau împrumuturi foarte, foarte convenabile. Și să ne spuneți dacă Bruxelles vede rezultatele acestor investiții sau cum s-au cheltuit banii. Well, there are several uh, reasons uh, for investing that money and also different outcomes. First and foremost, I think uh, it would be important to stress that for the European Union, this money that is being provided for Republic of Moldova is a sign of solidarity. Because the European Union is not just a trading bloc, we are a community of countries that share the same values. And some of those values means that uh, we support countries around the world uh, to become more democratic, more prosperous. And uh, Republic of Moldova, in fact, has benefited more than many of the countries of the world, not least because you are our neighbor. And now we see that uh, hopefully you will become also one of us. Uh, but uh, so the results are different. Sometimes it means improved uh, living standards for the people of Republic of Moldova, like having uh, better water and sanitation in towns and villages that otherwise would be uh, having uh, still the outdated, unsafe and not unhealthy water that was inherited from the Soviet Union. Sometimes it means uh, better export potential. 
And of course, this also means that there is a tangible interest on the EU side, because uh, for us it is important that two thirds of the Moldovan exports go to the EU member states. So, which means that we have very strong component of economic cooperation, and this, of course, is mutually beneficial because for you it is. Uh, an export market, uh, chance to uh, sell your um, agricultural products, but even more so the industrial products, because the largest exports to the European Union are cables produced in Republic of Moldova. And uh, so there are also benefits of having a stable neighbor. And stable means that you, uh, the neighbor has rule of law, it has democracy, it has uh, less and less corruption. And that's one more uh, reason why the European Union is spending this money, not only on government, but also on uh, civil society organizations, on mass media. In other words, so that Moldova can develop as a democratic, prosperous country. And now we have this also added advantage that you may become a member of the European Union. Cum poate investi Uniunea Europeană în securitatea energetică a Republicii Moldova? Știm că acest subiect este pe agenda tuturor discuțiilor în prezent. Energy security has been one of the priority areas for uh, the European Union even before it became a priority for the government because the government came in office almost at the same time when the first major gas crisis in years came around. What we have been doing is we have been uh, educating people about energy efficiency, sh having uh, projects which show how you can save money and energy through energy efficiency. And we are expanding those projects as well in this uh, area. Right now, for instance, we have one a big project together with the European Investment Bank where uh, the energy efficiency of public buildings with a total surface of more than one million square meters will be ensured and improved. So this is not just demonstration project, this is already a very meaningful uh, way how to uh, improve the energy efficiency in uh, Republic Moldova. And it's also expert support, because this is also one area which uh, needs a lot of expertise, uh, which unfortunately Moldova doesn't have. So uh, the European Union has been providing l l quite a lot of expertise, both during the gas crisis, but also after that, also how to improve the legislation so that uh, people can improve their um, um, energy efficiency in the buildings that they live in. Uh, also how to improve the interconnections both for gas and electricity with the European Union member states. So there, this is a, quite a vast area and it is very important that we have this strong cooperation with the government and with the president for whom it's also a priority uh, that uh, we can work together to improve the energy security situation of the country. Și la final să ne spuneți cum vedeți dumneavoastră Republica Moldova la cei 31 de ani de independență. Well, these have not been easy years and some of it I would even describe as time of lost opportunities. Because I myself come from Latvia and uh, we, we had, had roughly the same starting point 31 years ago and unfortunately now we can see that uh, these opportunities could have been used by the Republic of Moldova better. But I think it's also important that now you have turned a fresh page and have embarked on a course of reforms, path of European integration, which uh, has this rather still remote goal because it cannot be achieved overnight, but you have a clear goal where you can uh, reach the community of countries that are democratic and w that are prosperous because European Union is also a way of prosperity. So I congratulate Republic of Moldova on your 31st anniversary of independence and I wish you to use all the opportunities to bring your country closer to the European Union and hopefully uh, to become a member of the European Union uh, when you have achieved all the criteria that are difficult but they are possible. <laughs>